Hi there, out of here from TorontoNeonOnline.com here with a new property that we have found for you. It's a 10 unit building located in North York, close to Gene and Wilson or 400 and 401 area. It's in the middle. Let's take a look at the numbers and chat more about it. So the property is listed for 1.299. 800 so almost 1.3 million dollars uh, with 10 units in the building the price per unit works out to 129,980 dollars per unit uh, with the mortgage of, at 20 20 percent down you'd be looking at a down payment of 259,960 dollars uh, the first mortgage works out to a million almost a million for million forty thousand at 3.4 percent interest rate which is pretty much standard what we're seeing right now in the marketplace uh, you might be able to get a little bit better as well. Uh, the monthly mortgage payment works out to $5,136.88. That's based on a 25-year amortization with principal and interest included. Uh, let's look at the expenses now. So this is for 2013. The property had property taxes of $19,011. Insurance is at $3,600. <coughs> Excuse me. Gas for the year is $14,058, water $8,078, hydro is $1,200. Now you might be asking why is hydro so cheap? It's because every unit has their own hydro meter and there's one, one meter for the common areas which includes a couple of hallways in the building and that works out to about $1,200. There's a super for $2,400, sorry, $2,600, $2,400 which basically is a reduction of rent on one of the tenants that is living there. So they take care of some, the, the walkways, getting rid of the garbage. So just the small items. They don't go after collecting money or anything like that. So that would be something that would be the responsibility of the owners here. Uh, hydro for the units. There are two units that are paying their, the, the hydro is included for them and they're, they're, they amount to $1,524. Maintenance and repair, there's $6,000 that are budgeted for it. So total expenses are working out to $55,871. Taking a look at the income for the property. So there are two one bedrooms. These are in the basement. So this is a three unit, three level building. It has two gar a two car garage as well in there. So two uh, one bedroom at 1650. There's eight two bedrooms for 8175. Uh, and there's also laundry, which is usually higher. The reported number from the seller was higher. We're basing it at $200. So that works out to 2400. So total monthly income is 10,000 to 25 dollars. And your total per year works out to $12,300. Average per unit, $12,030. So let's look into a little bit more detail. You have less the vacancy rate. So vacancies for this area, according to CMHC, are around the 1% to 2%. We're basing it at 1.5. We Our effective gross income works out to $118,495.50. Operating expenses, which we had tabulated over here, you bring those over. Your net income works out to $62,624.50. Less your mortgage payment, $61,642.56. Cash you have coming in at the end of the year is $981.94. Your principal recapture, because it's a principal and interest mortgage, you'd be looking at $26,950.35. That's what you're paying down on your first year of your mortgage. Your ROI is calculated based on $27,932. Looking at some of the closing costs that you should keep in mind when you're purchasing a property like this. Uh, but before I get into this, let me just show you some couple more numbers. So the expense versus income ratio on this building is 47%. Part of the reason why I picked this property uh, and I'm showing this to you is because 47% is a really, really high number. Uh, properties where you have tenants paying their own hydro, those numbers should be somewhere on the 20s, low 20s, because the major expense that you have is being taken out. Now, mind you, there's a gas expense that is included in here, so there might be some consideration that you have to give as to how to increase efficiency. You might be looking at building uh, the windows, uh, there might be some insulation that you can look at. Again, these are all capital nature expenses. Uh, I understand that. Uh, but what I'm trying to point out is that there is definitely some efficiency that you can generate over here. 4.82% is right in the middle where the cap rates are in Toronto right now. Right now we're seeing properties that are going for between 4% and 5% and this is on the high end of uh, high end of the 4%, 4.82, which is very, very reasonable. Your cash return isn't the greatest on this one, but that's a, as I pointed out, there's a big chunk of money that is going into your expenses and if you can reduce those expenses, you can definitely generate a lot of a lot better return than nine hundred eighty one dollars. Some of the costs that you're going to have to keep in mind when you're purchasing a property like this, you have the land transfer tax and the Toronto land transfer tax. You have lawyer fees, which are about $5,000. This is because you're going to be purchasing in a corporation. If you're purchasing in your own name, it will be cheaper. There's a building inspection that some, some lenders require you to do. So that's around fifteen. Uh, sorry, $1,500. Uh, if you're looking at uh, getting a mortgage broker to, and using their services, 
there's an additional cost which is which in my opinion is calculated at ten thousand dollars uh, you could have lending fees that are associated again these are all numbers that I have stacked in there these this doesn't necessarily mean that this is how much it's going to cost you to purchase this building but these are the numbers that you should be considering so if you don't have that kind of money sitting around you shouldn't be considering an investment property like this one or you should be looking at maybe a VTB or another option where you are getting financing for some more money uh, at, a, at a reasonable rate that, that you can make this purchase again there's those are those are some of the costs that would be associated when you're making a purchase of this nature if you have any questions if you want more information feel free to reach out to me 1-877-439-2339 1-877-HEY-ADDY or you could email me at addy at heyaddy.com. Take care and uh, we'd love your feedback and comments in the building and if you have any questions do reach out. Talk soon. Bye-bye.